Learn your multiples of nine in just one minute. Repeat after me. Nine, eighteen. Oh, come on. You can be louder than that. Nine, eighteen. Twenty-seven, thirty-six. Twenty-seven, thirty-six. Come on. Nine. Let's do it. Still repeat after me. 9, 18, So I'm just going to play it and you guys sing along with me. of nine. Study them. Get some flashcards.
Alright guys, check out this cool magic trick that you can do on a family member or a friend. I'm going to try it out on you right now. So think of a number from 1 to 10, or choose a larger whole number and use a calculator if you'd like. So pick a number. Okay, triple your number. Multiply it by 3. Tripling it. Okay, you got it? Now add 6 to it. Add 6 to your number. Got it? Now triple your number again. Multiply it by 3. Tripling your number. Alright, you got it? If you wish, double your number. Double that number. Multiply it by 2. Okay, you got it? Now, add the digits of your number together. For example, if you had 25, you would add 2 plus 5. If the result is a one-digit number, then stop. If the sum is a two-digit number, then add the two digits together again. Okay, concentrate on your number. Mathematics is filled with magic. You will see that numbers can yield delightful surprises. It's your job as a math student to discover the secrets behind the magic. My favorite wizard is Gandalf, sorry Harry, and ever since he was a kid, his favorite number was nine. It seems to possess so many magical properties, he would say. So what's so magical about number nine? Well, the first magical property of the number nine can be seen by looking at its multiples. What do these numbers have in common? If you add the digits of each number, it seems that you always get 9. What? For real? Let's check a few. 18. The digit sum 1 plus 8 is 9. How about 27? Yes, 2 plus 7 is 9. 81? 8 plus 1 is 9. Well, that's pretty cool. But wait, there's an exception. 99. 9 plus 9 is 18. Well, if you add the digit sum of 18, you get 9. And 18 itself is a multiple of 9. So we can say if a number is a multiple of 9, then its digit sum is a multiple of 9, and vice versa. Also, take a look at the tens place in each number and the ones place in each number. What do you notice? The tens place counts up by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the ones place counts down by 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This makes skip counting by 9 easy. Another magical property of the multiples of 9 is the idea of reversing. The number to get another multiple. So check this out. 18 can be reversed to make 81, both multiples of 9. 72 becomes 27. 45 becomes 54. That's pretty sweet. Maybe you have seen the 9's trick with your hands. And that works because of these magical properties. You can see why Gandalf loves the number 9. Still not convinced? The first four digits of pi, multiple of 9. Some consecutive uh, Fibonacci numbers, multiples of 9. The largest four-digit number? multiple of nine. The first four digits of the irrational number e, the most important number in calculus, multiple of nine. 